in Jesus' name we pray. Welcome you again to 10 Minutes with God in Jesus' name. This time, the Lord is going to do a new thing in your life in Jesus' name. Everything that concerns you, the Lord is going to perfect it in Jesus' name. Let's close our eyes to go to God in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this time. Bless your name for this morning. Bless your name for this day. Bless your name for this beautiful Sunday. Thank you, Father, for your power. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your majesty. Thank you because today is a day of worship. Every day is a day of worship. And today is a special day of worship. As we worship and praise you this day, Lord, accept our thanksgiving, our worship, our praises, everything in Jesus' name. Speak to us today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray. This morning, the Lord wants to talk to us about higher ground. Higher ground. Higher ground. There's a hymn in the scripture that we used to sing in church. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by heaven's gate on higher ground, where love abound and light abound. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. He said, I have no desire to stay where doubts arise and fears dismay. Though others may dwell where these abound, my constant aim is higher ground. This time, you are going to close your eyes and take it to God in prayer and say, Lord, lift me up, let me go up higher. Lord, let me go up higher. Let me go up higher. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray. That statement or that song, Higher Ground, is a song of consecration. It's a song of commitment to God. As a believer, as a Christian, it says, come up higher. And he wanted to go up higher. Abraham was called in Genesis chapter 12. And certain things were revealed to Abraham. As he went on, chapter 13, 14, 15, 16, in chapter 17, the Lord revealed something special to him afresh. God told him, I am the Almighty God. He, he took Abraham higher. In chapter 12, Abraham was at the level of the initial call. In chapter 17, Abraham entered into a new dimension of the call of God. And maybe you are at the level, at the same level where you are when the Lord called you. Today is calling you up higher. He's calling you up higher. I want to show you mightier things than you know before. Abraham had been following God. In chapter 12, God told him, come out. And he came out. God told him everything he was following. In chapter 17, Abraham was getting weary. That what kind of God is this? I'm just following him. I have not seen his power. I have not seen his hand in my life. And Abraham was getting weary. Abraham was about to start complaining. It was at that point the Lord came to him and revealed to him a higher ground, a higher calling. Today, the Lord wants to reveal to you also a higher ground, a higher calling. God came to Abraham and he said in chapter 17, he said, I am the Almighty God. And that settled the matter for Abraham. That changed the story for Abraham because he entered into a new realm of the Almighty. Initially, he just knew God as a God that just called him. Now, a new God as your Almighty God. Maybe you have known God as something before, as the one that called you out of sin, the one that called you out of um, out of sin and is uh, taking you to heaven. Yeah, he, that is what He does. But it is a higher thing He still wants to do in your life. There's a higher ground He wants to take you to, and individually, personally, you have to seek His face and you have to depend on Him and you have to work with Him to get the next level of the assignment God has for you. In Abraham's case, Abraham was dejected, but God knew the heart of Abraham. God saw his heart that Abraham had the mind for God. Abraham was ready to follow where God wanted him to go, and that was why God revealed himself to him in a higher plane. The previous assignment God gave Abraham, Abraham fulfilled them, even though he was getting weary. And that was why God said, don't be weary, I want to do something good, something better for you. I want to do something greater, something more powerful in your life. And he revealed himself to Abraham as the Almighty God. The Almighty God means El Shaddai. It means El Shaddai. It means the multi-breasted one. That means one child comes and he drinks from the breast of the mother. The breast does not get dried. The another child comes, drinks and drinks and drinks. We think the breast is going to dry. It never dries. This is the God we talk about. This is the Almighty God. Every time you go to Him with your own desire, with your own need, with your own problems, He has power in store. He has power to meet it. You will think that because you have done many miracles in the life of other people, there are no miracles you can do in your life again. No. 
there are multiple miracles he can do in your life and in the life of everyone around you because he is the almighty God. So Abraham, in this case, may be thinking he's old and uh, medically he has passed the age of bringing forth a child. But God revealed himself to him as the almighty God, the God that can do all things, the God with whom there's nothing that is impossible. And that was what Abraham needed at that time. Everything that you need, God knows it, and he will reveal himself to you in uh, the area and at the point of your need in Jesus' name. To Abraham, he said, I'm the Almighty God. I am the Almighty God. He took Abraham higher to you. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what your own situation is. Maybe you have known about the story of the Almighty God, and you have, you have seen it, you have heard about it, but you have not experienced it. God can take you to the level of experiencing it even today as you're hearing this word in Jesus' name. The main aim of the Almighty God bringing this word to you today is to move you from where you are to higher ground. Is to take you to higher ground. Is to move you to higher ground. No matter the knowledge you have of God before, God wants you to know Him more and that is higher ground and is going to do it even in your life this morning in Jesus' name. Lord, leave me up and let me stand by heaven's head, where love and joy and light above. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. My heart has no desire to stay. Where doubts arise and fears dismay, do some me dwell where these abound. My constant aim is higher ground. Lord, leave me up and let me stand. I said, Lord, lift me up and let me stand. Open your mouth and begin to tell the Lord that God help me to stand even up higher in the name of Jesus. The songwriter says, at the end of the day, I'm going to be up higher. And with grateful heart, I'll be looking down from higher ground. With a grateful heart, with a happy heart, with a heart full of praise, I'll be looking down from higher ground. I'll say, thank you, Father, for what you, for taking me up higher, from, from a higher ground. I will look down and I will say, Lord, I thank you. I will say, Lord, I bless you. I will say, Lord, I bless you. Because I've seen that I am not the same that I am before. Lord, you have changed my story. Lord, you have changed my life. Lord, you have taken me higher. You have lifted me higher, higher, higher. Higher, higher. Lord, who bless you. Lord, who praise you. Lord, who worship you. Lord, we adore you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we honor you. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. In the name of Jesus, the songwriter says, He has lifted me higher, higher, higher. Oh, He has taken me up higher. Today, the Lord is going to do the same thing in your life. And that is why He's bringing this word to you. God wants to take you up higher. I don't know the level you are. People are even clapping for you and say, Ah, you have tried to get to this level. God said, No, there's still a higher level. God said, No, there's still a higher ground. God said, No, there's still a higher plane. God said, No, there's still something up higher. Oh God, take me up higher by your power, by your grace in Jesus' name. The grace and the power I need to go up higher. The divine strength, the divine enablement I need to go up higher. Lord, I receive this morning in the name of Jesus. The divine ability to go up higher. Lord, I receive this morning in the name of Jesus. Lord, the divine grace, the divine power. Lord, to go up higher. Best to upon me afresh in Jesus' name. Lift up your hands and begin to tell the Lord. The divine grace, the divine ability, I need to go up higher. Lord, give unto me in Jesus' name. Empower me with it in Jesus' name. Oh God, take me up higher. In when God told Abraham in Genesis chapter 17 that I'm the Almighty God, what he was telling him is, Come up higher, man. Come up higher, boy. Come up higher, guy. Oh God, take me up higher by your power this day, this time. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray. Take me up higher. Take me up higher. I do not want to remain at the same point. I want to go up higher. Lord, by your power, let me go up higher and higher and higher. Higher than the highest in the name of Jesus. Divine strength, divine ability, divine grace, divine hand, divine power, Lord, best to upon me at this time. In the name of Jesus, everything that pertains to me, Lord, I pray you perfect it in the name of Jesus. Take me up higher, O God. Take me up higher, O God. 
David was in the bush taking care of animals. God called him and anointed him. He said, David thought that was all. He was enjoying taking care of animals. God called him and said, you are going to be a king. You are going to be a king. You are going to be a king. He was anointed in the midst of his brethren. He was taking up higher. Lord, take me up higher. Lord, promote me. Lord, preserve me. Everywhere I appear, let promotion appear with me in the name of Jesus. God bless you as you pray this prayer and as you go up higher. The Lord is going to do it in your life in Jesus' name. Thank you for asking, Father, because you have taken us higher. In the name of Jesus. Amen.